a brand new NBC Wall Street Journal poll to talk about that was conducted after the second debate shows that they are locked in a dead heat. Look at those numbers there, 47 to 47. Brianna Keeler is in Boca already this morning. Brianna, that number uh, has got to be uh, read very badly for uh, President Obama. That's right. And when you listen to the Obama campaign, Soledad, they're trying to downplay the poll numbers. You talk to folks on the Romney campaign and they're happy with where they are. So, yes, neck and neck. This is where the race continues to be at this point. It's tightened up in recent weeks. And also we've seen it shifting towards Mitt Romney. So that's what that 47 to 47 with a margin of error of about three and a half points tells us. A couple of other interesting things that you can see going on in this poll. Look at women. President Obama is still with a sizable lead, 51 to 43 over Mitt Romney, but that's actually something that's alarming to President Obama because it's the smallest lead that he's had. And then when you look at battleground states, Mitt Romney in these polls, or in this poll, has a little bit of a lead. So again, the Obama campaign trying to downplay these polls, and obviously the debate tonight really mattering for both of these candidates. Let's take a look as well uh, at some of the endorsements that the candidates got over the weekend. Uh, battleground states, both of them picking up some here. Mitt Romney, Tampa, uh, Tampa Tribune also picking up the Orlando Sentinel out of Florida, Columbus Dispatch, and not surprisingly, the uh, New Hampshire Union leader. President Obama also picking up uh, an Ohio, actually two Ohio endorsements, Akron Beacon Journal and the Cleveland Plain, uh, Plain Dealer, and in Colorado, the Denver Post. What's really interesting here, though, Soledad, not a ton of enthusiasm. I mean, the two Florida papers, kind of a lukewarm endorsement of Mitt Romney, the same with the Ohio papers and the Denver Post, which endorsed President Obama. Obama saying neither has a plan for the future. Yeah, I think yeah. that's very true. Uh, kind of meh on yeah. all of these. Oh, yeah. Do you think it matters, yeah. Susie? The meh. of the newspapers? Yeah. I think people look, they actually, most people know what their newspaper, their local newspaper is going to say. They've been watching yeah. them, they read them for years, and you know the Boston Globe is going to go for Obama. You know what your local paper. So either it's going to confirm what you already think, and I, I, I'm not sure that people turn to their... Right. There's yeah. no, nobody no turns enthusiastic, to the, yeah. right. Right. like, Absolutely. we love this guy. Right. Yeah. Nobody's jumping front. out of their Endorsements skin. matter in tight elections, because look, if you can take, uh, pick up 1,000, 5,000 votes in a very tight election... <laughs> Trust me, you like it, and if you're the can who didn't get it, it, you hate it. In, in, inside, <laughs> inside that NBC Wall Street Journal poll, two things. President only at 47 this close election, saying. pretty ominous. Secondly, only at 36 among white voters. We said before, his, mar his formula for victory is 80% of minorities, 40% of whites. This puts him below at the Politico GW battleground poll, 39, closer, right at the border. Uh, but that's a pretty ominous number if you're at 36% among whites. And losing white women by double digits in both of these polls out in the last 48 hours. They've got to be concerned about that. All right, Brianna, thank you very much. Let's get to